Hello, is this thing on? Hey, is this thing on? My collar is totally stuck inside. That's not a cool look. There we go. As you can see, it's jacket time. Seems kind of strange. This year we've worn t-shirt and shorts in the winter, and now it's the summer, time to bust out the jackets. And no, we're not in Southern Hemi, we're in Northern Hemi. We made it all the way up to Canada the day before. Um, God, there was, there was a lot of driving all the days in a row, so yesterday we finally got to relax for a bit, but we still drove a good 150 miles. We made it from Fort Langley, which is a little town just outside of Vancouver. After we crossed into the border from Bellingham, we pretty much just drove like a short 10, 15 miles to a campground. Hung out with our friend Kyle. We hadn't seen him in probably a year and a half. So that was good. We knew he was coming to Canada, just didn't know where. So just before I crossed, I texted him, said, hey, you know, we're, we're over here, we're going to cross. And he's like, oh, I'm just a few miles ahead of you. So we went and met him. That was cool, hung out. Uh, he's going to stick around the west coast of Canada for a while. We are on our way over to Jasper to meet up with our other friend, Chris. Our friend Chris, who we hung out in Mexico, in Baja. He, uh, after we split up, he went back to Indiana, and he is on his way up to Alaska. I think he's going to cross into Canada today, maybe go to Banff, and tomorrow we should both meet up in Jasper somewhere. We're going to connect. We are at the town of Merritt, British Columbia. Spent the night at the Walmart. It's a little Walmart. But they're very RV friendly. And these days, we're barely an RV, right? That's an RV. That's a little Airstream. That's like a 16-foot Airstream. It's pretty cool. Uh, there's a truck camper there. And... Yeah, there's like one of every kind here. Travel trailer. Travel trailer there. You can see that behind the Airstream. Airstream is also a travel trailer. <clears throat> We're a pop-up truck camper. That's a Class A. And back there is a normal truck camper. We're getting ready to go. We're going to go meet some people this morning. They have a garlic farm. Friends of people we met last year. In Washington. In Washington. They took us out for sale. Um, I have video, but I have not uploaded that one. <laughs> Don't expect it anytime soon. So, <laughs> anyways, we gotta get ready. All right. <laughs> That's crazy. My grandfather built that. That's really? Awesome. It's an old car axle that he tipped up on its end. Oh he yeah. Extended it into a bearing up top. That's awesome. That's Nicholas. He lives out here in Merritt. He invited us to come by for breakfast. Car axle with the motor. That spins the axle that in turn spins this whole thing. <laughs> Don't let go. It's, it could get fast, I'm sure. Whoa. Hold on good, Luca. Hi. Hi, Luca. Hi. This is all stuff you guys grow for yourselves. That's awesome. I have a 
can't really call him a neighbor because he doesn't live close by, but it's a community member right. who uh, wanted a place to garden, and so uh, we had the space. So, so you're welcome to garden. That's home. cool. They do so, an amazing garden. Every and what do they do with it? Do they just eat it too? They, He's retired and does he does do farmers market, but it, they preserve a lot. And yeah, eat most of it, but right? They sell their surplus at uh, the, the local farmers market. And this is theirs too. No, no the pigs are ours and uh, chickens. My brother. Okay. And those are for eggs mostly. Hi, hi. You're so cute. Look at your big ears. His ears are super huge. <laughs> I don't think this is electric fence. Huh? When were these planted? How long, like... Okay. They winter over, and then they come up early in the spring. So they just stay dormant? Like, yeah, all through winter? You'll get some nice root growth, surprisingly. Like, you'll... Oh, really? Inches of root growth. All under the snow? Well... I haven't actually measured, but I know like if I pulled one up in December, yeah, it's got quite a bit of root growth. When I, here I planted it in October, right? And in theory, that's not really a growing time, right? right? It's pretty cold by then. Does it get covered up? Like, are they under? Like, are they getting any sunlight if it if it snows? So that's what's crazy. I mean, there's no doubt that climate change is real. <laughs> yeah, you've seen that. Oh, because you haven't like gotten no too much snow. snow. Like, we'll have hardly any snow. Right. That's sometimes pretty concerning. What about this last year? Because last year, no we had a lot of a lot of rain and snow in the, in Northern California. So we had moisture. I'd say we still actually had quite a bit of moisture, but not in the Not snow. snow. And even when it did snow, it was wet. Was right, like slushy really, snow. Really heavy snow. Yeah. Lucas, let's, let's fix that trap. <laughs> I don't think he's ever been on one. Wow. Upside down. Whoa. It's an outdoor cat. Mia's you know, totally going to steal a cat. That's like the opposite cat from Yoda. Yeah. Okay, Yoda should be Miss, Miss Black, and that should be Miss White. Miss White or something. Look at they have a tree house. Well, I'm glad to see the Cam Loops Costco hasn't decided to get rid of all of their trash cans. Look at this guy. He's totally boxed in here. I'm just doing my piece to help. Yeah, this could be. This is bigger than our than our camper. This is an inflatable island. It says you can literally have your own island. Except he's drinking water. They're drinking sodas. They're all drinking water and sodas. Okay. Pizza? Canadian Costco. Of course there's poutine. Oh, Ava, look, you can get it with just gravy and not cheese. You want fries with gravy? Okay. Yes, yes. I don't, I don't, they don't have smoothie here. No, I'm gonna get they just have ice cream. Yeah. Okay. We'll get it later. Let's eat first, and then we'll, when we're done, when we leave, because it's not smoothie. You can't. You're not gonna eat your pizza with your ice cream together. No. After. 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 Think about it. Okay. Well, yeah, they got a little thing to cut it with. They cut it small for you. Yeah. Those are three that we're waiting for. Okay, hold it. 
Well, Canada doesn't have mayonnaise like Mexico, but they do have peppers. Oh, they do? Yeah. They're like sweet jalapeno peppers. She, the cheese looks a little different, huh? They put like some cheddar or something on there. Yeah. A little bit of yellow cheese. Mm -hmm. Is it good? How many different samples do you have? Hmm? I, I got three for sure. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> you don't even have hands to eat your Cheetos. This is the third and second one. Okay. Are you picking your nose outside? This is going to be interesting. What do you want first? The stuff that goes in the fridge? Okay. Cheese. And raviolis. And the salads. I wonder if the chicken needs to be split up smaller. Oh, and then the pot stickers. Man, oh man. Are we in trouble or what? See you later, Manchigo. Overdid it. Again. Again. With the samples. I mean, the samples usually aren't that big, but they had like full, whole pierogies. I had one and then Ava didn't want her, so I ate two pierogies. Bah. Alright, we're gonna find gas somewhere else and then, uh, yeah, we'll leave Kamloops. Little guy. Oh. Oh, oh wait. Hey, <laughs> hey, look at you. Hi. How old's the bird? Oh, just about two. Okay. Just and they go 30, 40 years? Yeah. I'm yeah? Cool. Oh. <laughs> I know. This is unique. A bird and a pig in yeah. the store. Hi. <laughs> Hi, piggy. The baby pig. Make a big move to Alberta. This is Wells Gray Provincial Park. Are we still in BC? I think we're still in BC. Yeah. British Columbia Provincial Park. We came in. How do we come in? We came in this way. And we made a left turn and then we made another left turn. Here's the parking lot. We are it's here. not too far. The waterfall's right there. We are here. That's a pretty short walk. We are here. Yeah, we are. Five minute walk to see the waterfall. I wonder if it eroded from the top over the years. Probably did. You think it's super hot water? You think it's super cold from a glacier? Super cold. Super cold. Mm hmm. All the moss that are growing on the side of the rocks. It would be very sad. To the bottom, when it hits the water, the water like turns into mist. Yeah, maybe the water eventually hits the ground. It turns And the mist is what's causing all the moss to grow. Huh? They're getting some good shots. Oh, they're so awesome. You're not going to believe it. I don't believe it already. That's us. That's somebody else that's already here. We are at a little place called, what is it called? Oh yeah, Mystery Lake. This is like a little lake out in the BC forest. It's really beautiful. There's one big problem. There are a ton of mosquitoes here. But look at that lake, though. I don't know, that lake's just awesome. But, oh, man. And they're big, fat ones, too. I don't feel them biting, so that might be a positive thing. Ah, I just spray some buck spray on me, which I think is helping. 
but after I sprayed, I walked into a cloud of it. I tasted it in my mouth, which is probably not good. At least you guys are wearing long pants and long sh long shirts. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go back in the camper. Huh. Let's go make some pot stickers. Wow, it's disgusting. Gross.